I don't love to do demos. Yes, you do. You love it. Uh, no. Don't you ever say that. No, I don't love it because sometimes I get the squirrel thing going on. And I can do it. I can do the, the projects. Yeah. We don't get that closer. Oh, I want to make it bigger. Okay, fine. Without but, uh, so causing problems. So I here. found this in the shop. And I'd never really used it before because it scared me. I would see these beautiful quilts. And they had Dresden plates on them. Dresden plates? Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going to show us today is a Dresden plate? A Dresden ruler. So where do you want to start? Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what we have in the shop. And it is 8 inches long. So you can make a pretty good size Dresden with this. But this right here, this is the ruler. Oh, it's shiny. This is the ruler. has all the different measurements. goes down. This is, I gotta get it right, I'm not talented like Chris. This is the turning tool. Have you guys, <laughs> you should see all the things I've tried to use to turn and poke out corners. Sometimes it goes right through. I end up throwing it across the room yeah. and saying bad words because I poked a hole in it. I hate this, that. This, whoop, 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 this is wonderful. You see that little point? Yes. And it's big enough to actually hold on to. So that is your turning tool. <laughs> I'm good. That's your turning tool. So this comes in a set. The very best thing about this is it has the instructions. It has it. It looked like it was in three different uh, languages. The first one is English. I don't know what the other two really? are. Really? Because I couldn't read them. But yeah. But the instructions are like four, four steps. My kind of instructions. <laughs> And they really worked. And I am so in love with this. I'm going to show you some ideas to do with Dresden's. So Mary here at the shop, she was asked to make up a block. And I'm going to show you what her Dresden block looks like. Oh, Oops, I whoops. dropped something. Right on your toe. Oh, didn't hurt. Look at that. That's with the Dresden ruler. That is really pretty. Isn't that cool? She's done the whole quilt with that because we had a seam we were trying to do and I'm not going to tell you what it was or anything because I can't but yeah so that's one way to do a Dresden that's not the typical Dresden that I would have thought no. to see no and all it was done with is she cut so much off of the end of the Dresden and she's done it two different ways oh wow I like that see isn't that cool yeah. you could do it with white on the end or whatever color, or you could do the whole thing Dresden. Then I want to show you. This is another Dresden that someone's done here. Now this looks more typical Dresden. Yes, it is. Isn't that beautiful? I would look at this and go, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. But you can. And I'm going to show you how. If I do can you, do it, you can okay. do it. Okay. Well, you got that up there. Look at that little circle in the center. Okay. Because you want to have your circle be perfect, right? Yes. Okay. How could you make that circle perfect? Well. Are you going to talk about that? No. Go ahead. Well, let me hear your well. Well. <laughs> tell me. Tell me. Um, I'm going to cut it with a template. A template would be good. Yeah. But if any of you have a circular oh, attachment. Yes. Yes. Right, I've seen that. I just happen to have one I right happen here. happen to have one, and I need that. If anybody has this... For your machine, you can actually stitch a circle, uh, two pieces of fabric together. Oh. And then turn it turn right it. side out. Do you know how to do the turning with, well, without you know what? leaving a hole on the edge? Well, I, that's what I was going to do. Yeah. You're going to stitch it all the way. Oh, this is getting off base here. Is well, that okay? Whatever. This, you're going to stitch it all the way around, two pieces of fabric right sides together, mm -hmm. all the way around. Mm -hmm. And then on the back side one, you're going to cut... A and X. Turn it through the X and press out those seams. Just enough so you could turn yeah, it. Yeah, just enough. And use your pressing tool. You can use the yes, other end. Yes, totally. You can use the other end of this pressing tool oh, you are to get so that smart. out. I'm like a genius. You are a genius. And then when you press that out, it's going to be a perfect circle. That's a great idea. I know. I did that. Sometimes my circles aren't so perfect. I just happen to have okay. that one sitting right there. That's awesome. Then I want to show you, this lady brought this to me today. Oh, I had my made heck. one of these quilts. Where did you get somebody that? somebody else do all the piecing. Oh, my heck. I know I could do it, but look at this. 
Can you see that? Look at Boy, that. Let's... Beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, the light. There we go. Does that help? I think so. Look at that beautiful Dresden this plate. This helps really a lot. No, <laughs> not quite. This is a beautiful Dresden. That That is a Dresden, and that definitely. Is, um, is that done by hand? She did, did put it on by hand. Yes, oh, but look, my it's one of those. Oh, we I had this pattern in here had the pattern. a few years ago. I did ago. it for my granddaughter for when she turned 12. Oh, did you? It is gorgeous. But she did this Dresden um, block, and I thought, oh, I'm going to show that. Look at, those are a lot smaller. Oh, I don't, Boy, I don't, I don't know how you can get that. This is quite a bit smaller than the other Dresdens that we're showing you. Hey, but, voila. Oh, my heck. I made some today. Look at that. Just today? You made Just that today? today? Today. I did those. They're cute. And we just do, you can use that circular thing again to make your center so you don't see all the jagged edges. So, I was going to show you how to do this. Where's that my ruler? That's amazing. Is Should that we move this out of the, the way? Floor? No, I picked it up. It's oh, right did? here. Okay. Can I move this? Yes, move that now. That'll be good. Okay, real quick. This is the simplest thing. I I couldn't believe how simple it was when I actually did it. Okay, so what it, it says in the instructions is that you cut it out. Um, they said five strips. You can cut whatever you want. You don't have to cut multiples of them if you want to do different colors for each petal, like she had done in her quilt there. But all you're going to do is you're going to put your Dresden on your fabric. I got this fabric that she had already sewn the end with. So you're just, can you get that to shine down I on the... I can okay. hold it up so it will. Okay. So what we did is... But we won't know if we got it. Yeah, I can see it. Can you? You're going to okay. set your Dresden ruler on there. Let me get that going the right way, I guess. And so... <laughs> if you don't want your your end to be so narrow you wanted it wider you can bring it down to the end of the ruler here so it's not as narrow you could put it however you want so all you're going to do is you're going to cut on either side cut that way that way and if you wanted it longer you would have a longer piece of fabric so that's all you're going to do let me show you so that's what this looks like I'll put it the way it had it so she put the ruler on there Yep, she put it to the very end here, and she just cut all the way around, okay? And then you cut it to the length you want, okay? So that's what I did with this piece. So pretend that's just plain. So then you're going to take it over to your um, sewing machine. First off, I put a little crease in mine. I ironed it because I really wanted to do that so I could see the center. It doesn't say that you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to sew across the top, the flat now, edge. this is interesting to me. Why? Because this is going to turn into a point. Oh, I know. It's magical. I'm like a unicorn. Um, so then you're going to sew across here with a quarter inch seam. And, oh, don't look at my, my mess on the back there. Because I backstitched. Because I didn't know it uh, came undone once. So I backstitched. And then you're going to clip your corner. And then this is where it gets easy. Okay, you can lift that up now. Okay. I can hold on to this. You're going to, and that was right sides together with your with your Dresden that you cut out. All you're going to do, oh, where are you at? All you're going to do is I'm going to flip it, and I flip it like that, and there's and my corner. you got to have your, your point. Yep, you got to have your point. See, I would, I used to take a pin, whatever, a pen, pencil, poke that out. I'm going to take the tip of this. And I'm just going to work that out. But you're still going to be careful. You don't want... Oh, don't shove it through because you won't be happy. Okay. And then I would take it back over. Finger press that. Look at how nice that looks. So now to get your point, this is where the magic comes in. You just pull it like that. And press it. And press it. And see, that's why I put my um, little crease in it. You could do a finger crease on it. Do it like that, get it straight, and look at that. Perfect. Am I magical or you what? You are. Totally. Okay. Totally. So then you do it with two of them and you join them.
Look at that. Are you sewing them or do it by hand? No, I sewed those. Oh, good. No. Good. <laughs> I'm not doing that by hand. No. <laughs> the only part that I would possibly do by hand was attach this, but probably not. I'd take a little scant seam yeah. and put it on there. I would too. So that's all you're going to do. I would do. use my edge joining foot. <laughs> She's like a genius. I am. Yeah, like a genius. So there's, there's these, and then you're going to go around and put as many as you need. Also, I wanted to show you another way. I learned this from a friend. Okay. I hope this is true. Do you I hope need I'm not. Me to move the no, camera? I hope I'm not okay. lying. Okay, so if you wanted a Dresden ruler that's more than eight inches, don't. Okay, if you want it more than eight inches, then this is what I learned from a friend. I'm gonna follow that angle. See that angle? I'm gonna find the edge of that Dresden ruler up. And then I could make it longer. I could extend that. That's just an you idea. You are a genius. Like a genius. Yeah, so you could do a great big sunshine. And you could also, if you wanted, and you wanted to do rays of sunshine, you could fold under your quarter inch and every other one space it. So you oh, had rays oh, of sunshine. Oh, kind of like what Mary did. On, sorry to reach so close kind of like what Mary did here every other one so that's another take on a Dresden oh wow was that easy or what oh wow